Okay, so let's say I want to evaluate each of these series. So for this first one, we have 2n plus 5 going from n is 1 up to 4. So substituting in 1, we get 7. Then substituting in 2, we get 9. Substituting in 3, we get 11. And substituting in 4, so the final value, we get 13. Okay, and then we just want to add all of these together. So 9 and 11 are 20, 7 and 13 are 20, so we've got 40. Now for number 2, substituting in from 2 up to 6. So substituting in 2, we get 6 take away 8, so minus 2. Substituting in 3, we get 9 take away 8, so 1. Substituting in 4, we're going to get 4. Okay, we're adding on 3 each time. Then substituting in 5, we're going to get 7. And then substituting in finally 6, we get 10. So 17, 21, 22, 20. Okay. Now for number 3, we've got n times 2n plus 1. So starting from n is 4, we have 4 times by two lots of 4 plus 1. So that's 9. Plus, when n is 5, we get 5 times 2n plus, uh, 2 lots of 5 plus 1, so 11. And then finally, when n is 6, we get 6 times, well, 9, 11, 13. Okay? So, we add all of those together. 4 times 9 uh, plus 5 times 11 plus 6 times 13 makes 169. Okay. And then finally, number 4, we are adding up n over n plus 1 from n is 2 to 5. So when n is 2, we get 2 over 2 plus 1, so 3. Plus when n is 3, 3 over 4. When n is 4, 4 over 5. When n is 5, 5 over 6. Oh, and that's as far as I need to go. Okay. So, we've got 2 thirds plus 3 quarters plus 4 fifths uh, plus 5 sixths. And that makes 61 twentieths. Okay. And so this is how we can evaluate uh, sigma notation um, by finding each of the terms and adding them all together.